my friends. Hello, it is I, Alphineas Goo, here at Gooey headquarters. Yes, in my studio study. Yes, with Camera Mandy behind the camera. Say hello, Camera Mandy. Wearing her totally cool hat, by the way. <laughs> say hello, Camera Mandy. Hello. <laughs> Yes, everyone would think your mic was off if you didn't say hello. And uh, welcome to our low-budget production of Goo Morning Zayafe. Yes, we are very excited today because we have much to talk about, much to tell about, and some very cool things to do, like give you another chance to win one of those two amazing maps. So we're going to be talking about Darkenhaven a lot today. Actually, we're going to begin a segment on Darkenhaven that is going to continue for some weeks now as we prepare to release the Darkenhaven box set. So first the digitals will come out, and then after the digitals, we will be printing all of the madness that goes inside. Yes, it is crazy. Wait till you see what we have been doing. And this is why it has taken so long. That on top of the fact that we have day jobs. Yes, well, there it is. There's Carrie and me. Hey, Carrie. Hey, me. Yes, good to see you. <laughs> I tell you, my friends, you know, you're looking at this at this image right now. I'm looking at the TV, so I'm not looking at you. So you're looking at this, this marvelous image right now. And... You can't believe the detail. Now, Camera Mandy took some pictures, and they are magnificent pictures of it very, very close up. And of course, I have I have posted in, in uh, why am I flipping around? Because flip, uh, you weren't centered, and so I just decided to center I'm you flooping, while you were yes. on screen. Oh my God, I'm flipping. Because it's a low budget production. Low budget production. I, I really want to live up to our name. <laughs> yes, we got we to gotta keep it up. <laughs> in any case, oh goodness, very low budget production. In any case, Hopefully, Camera Mandy, did you grab any of your pictures, or is this the only one we have of the the ones you shot? Um, I don't. I did not grab the pictures. I'll post, and I haven't even posted them all on Facebook oh, yet. Oh, so good. I'll post them over the course of the week. And, and when you see the, I mean, literally, you go down and you can see things like little wheelbarrows and things like that in these maps. I mean, it is the the level of detail that Edvard did, uh, and and by the way, Edvard is doing our Mornwood maps as well. We are working on them right now, so we're very excited about those. But the level of detail and the quality of these maps is like nothing I've I've really seen uh, generally about. Uh, there are some, but not is very rare to come up with with uh, maps of these quality and this this amazement. And 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 I tell you, you know, the the goal of course is to just blow your players away, right? So this was the post. So anyway, so you can so sometime during the stream today, we're going to give you a chance to win. We'll give you the the queue and when you got to put it in and when you put it in, you can't put it in early. There's no cheating, right? You have to put it in when we tell you. And then uh, after that, then we'll grab, grab them and you'll get another chance to win one of the two maps that we are giving away. So it's very, very exciting. So I do want to be honest about something. Honest? What are you doing? Are you good? Uh, Camera Mendy, what, what dirty laundry are you going to air? Nobody okay. likes dirty laundry. I know. So there was one week where Autumn did not go through and get the entries for the map. So how do we fix that? I don't know. <laughs> so um, she has to go back through the chat. There, it's gone. It was on Twitch, and Twitch it deletes your channel or your streams after two weeks. Friends, if you were there that day, <laughs> there was nothing we can do. I'm so sorry. We are so sorry. yeah, so it was the week right before Gen Con, and yes, this is why I have trust issues. But she is really good. But she's also the one who put Myron the Ugly Troll like at the Gen Con. She, you know she like did the same lyrics on both sides of the paper yeah, 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 instead bad. of doing the second half of the song. Really bad. So I, I am just pushing her right in front of the bus right now. <laughs> Poor just, Autumn. Just full on. Psh, but no, she is, she is, d d d listen, Autumn is invaluable. Autumn is wonderful. Yes, yes, she is. So, but yes, there was one week that she did miss getting the... <laughs> Anyway, my friends, well, if you were yes. that week, you lose one chance. I'm sorry. But if you've we been have here, all the rest of them, though. If you've been here lots of weeks, you have lots of chances. And you can, even if you've never gotten a chance before, you can get one by going on to the... Uh, by the way, you can do this, too, right? It's not just attending Goo Mornings IFA and doing what we do it here. You can actually go on to our Facebook page or the Discord, and there is a way to enter right now by hitting a link right there. Now, can they do both links or only one? No, it's only... So either you hit so... the Discord... Yeah, the, the the Discord and the newsletter and the Facebook, all those are the same form, and you can only fill it out once. And only it gives you once, a really unless good chance. you come to Goo Morning. Yes. yes. And if you've yes. been coming to Goo Morning, you get extra Lots chances. Lots of extras. I know there's some Lots. people who have submitted every single week. So. And we are drawing next week, correct, Camera Mandy? Next week. Saturday. Yes, next Saturday. Yes, we are drawing. Yes, we will pull so, the names very exciting. next Saturday. And then I'll announce the next giveaway, which I'm pretty excited about. Yes, yeah, very, very fun. Yes. Yeah, it's fun. Now, fun, fun. I, I have something to address that's happening in the comments. So, Star is saying she's getting lots of ads. And I looked into the ad uh, situation. I'm sorry, my friends, listen, yes. this, this is, we, we don't know if we can fix this, but, but Camera Mandy's going to explain it right now. Yeah, so basically when we became a Twitch affiliate, 
it, it forces you to play like pre-roll ads. And so if you have to leave the stream at any point in time and like refresh it, you're going to get hit with ads again. And if you watch this on a rewatch, you get hit with ads. I rewatched last week's episode and like I was so annoyed with how many ads I was getting served. And I was like looking into it. And if you are subscribed, it's ad free. But if not, and that, that was just, I don't have any option. I never turned on ads. We're not interested in ads. You mean subscribed in, as in paying Twitch money? Yeah, or using your Prime subscription to subscribe. Oh, yeah, if you have, if you have yeah. Amazon Prime, don't forget that. If you have Amazon yeah. Prime, you can subscribe to Twitch and you don't have to uh, you don't have to put up with the ads as well. Yes. But here's the thing. We are going to do something. We're going to take some, maybe all, depends on how much we start making. I mean, we start making a lot of money. We're not going to do this. But we're going to take some of the money that we get from this and we're going to use it for prizes, for giveaways for all of our Twitch friends. So every time you see an ad, put a smile on your face and just think, oh, Cameramendi well, and Alphineas nice. are taking that yes. cash and going to make prizes for me. Yes, just yes. put that in your mind. All right, so that will help. And, uh, and we are sorry for the ads, but the good news is Good Morning's IFA is becoming more popular. And that is good for Gooey Cube. And that is good for all the craziness that we are doing. And it is, it is a one, wonderful thing. So Camera Mini, I'm looking on the little camera that I'm looking at right now. Yes. And there's a little box around my head, a little green box. So it moves with me. It looks like a, I've got a gooey what cube. What are you so talking that, about? You have to look on the camera. It, you have, you have oh, to take a picture okay. of it. Look, if you take a picture of it, you can see okay, the little I green will. box. Okay, I will. It's the focus box. Okay, so we have a few questions. Yes, ask, anyway. question away. Okay, um, Paul. Question, did you guys ever commit to printing more of these maps for those of us with more dollars than luck? We are going to uh, offer it on a, as a print on demand. And unfortunately, Paul, it is not inexpensive. I, they are photographic, photographic paper. It's very thick paper. And I mean, they are just magnificent. Now, everyone, just to know this, if you've gotten the Dark and Haven box, you will get a set of maps that is... Um, uh, on poster size paper, 17 by 22, with the Darkenhaven map broken up into six pieces. Mm -hmm. But the one singular singular map will not. Now, and we're going to talk about mapping, and we're going to talk about all that stuff, and we talk about we're going to have great fun with Darkenhaven today. Well, I'm going to go ahead and announce something. What? That's you already funny. aired the dirty laundry. Uh, that Nobody was, like, that know, was dirty not airing dirty laundry. Stinky, that was full Mendy. on pushing autumn in front Poor of the moving autumn's bus. Poor autumn's dirty laundry <laughs> right out here on Good Morning. But I did want to be... Autumn, I feel so I terrible. I did want to be honest with the autumn. people. I hope she's not watching. I, she's autumn, not. She's I'm so not. sorry. I just hit my mic. Other people have uh, other things to do on Saturday mornings. Oh, yes. Other but things. <laughs> we are grateful that you are here with us. But I this, listen, we are way better than Saturday morning cartoons. We have said this many times. And if you have nothing better to do on Saturday morning. We are perfect. <laughs> okay. Let me announce the thing. Go. We are getting swag to the shop. Swag. We, including a nice, big, dark and haven map mouse pad mat thing, or as Carrie put it, a dice rolling mat. <laughs> a mat. Mat, yes. But it doesn't have walls. Yes. So it is going to be a one of those gamer mats and it has the dark and I should, I, I should have pulled pictures. We'll show, we can show it next week. Don't worry. We'll show it next week. Yes. It is really, really cool. And so, and we're getting new t-shirts or well, not new t-shirts. We're getting our t-shirts in. We're going with, we have a new printer. Um, so we're just getting in samples from the printer to make sure the quality is good enough to actually send out to people. Um, but yes, so this is something that Riley has been working on this week and it's going to be magnificent. All so. right, so camera Mandy, I'm gonna do this real quick. So just let's, so I don't forget, cause I wanna do it now because, and by the way, just so when you get this thing, it's going to have, it's, this is the messed up Legends, Lore and Libations, right? There's yes. only one of them or is there two? Uh, we've only found one. I thought there was two. Well, no. if you get another one, okay. just complain to us and we will give you a real good one, but you'll have this, the, the, a funky one. So this is the one that they screwed up when they actually made it and put it together wrong. So this is the one we are giving away that Keith and I, who, who, who's the winner? Who's the lucky winner? No one has won it yet. Oh, yeah. Sorry, lucky winners. <laughs> we haven't won yet. We I, haven't done the giveaway right. yeah, yet. Of course not. <laughs> so we are giving this away. It's going to be signed by the author, uh, Keith, and the editor and, and hopefully inspiring guy, me. Um, and and uh, let's, you know what, Camera Mandy, you should sign it too. And Camera Mandy too. Why am I going to sign it? Because, Carrie should sign it. Well, we can have Carrie sign it too. We'll have Carrie we'll and have Carrie, AJ. You and, uh, Oh, yeah, and AJ. Okay. Well, okay. We're going to get it signed by everybody who had a real hand in this thing, including Kemra Mandy, who just takes credit. I, All right? <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. I just I, I do just the advertising. I just spit. It's a terrible. I do a lot of yelling at people, like, we got to get our stuff out. All right. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to send it to Keith, and then when the winner wins it, Keith is going to send it to whoever wins it. So now, this has got some dings on it. It's, it's definitely, it, the pages are wrong, right? This thing is messed up. 
So, so uh, this makes it really collectible. <laughs> At least that's what they tell me. Our signed messed up yes. collectible book. Yes. So I'm going to go in here right now while Camera Mandy talks. And right here on the first page, I'm going to put, uh, you know, congratulations on this messed up book, Love, Alphineas. Okay, that's what I'm going to put here. So I guess I'm talking now while Alphineas yes, and you're, signs. Yes, you have to talk while I sign. Thing. Oh, last night. Uh, last night I went to a Sam Smith concert, and it was amazing. Voice of an angel. So there you go. But not for the kiddos. It was definitely an adult concert. And then tonight. <laughs> what do you mean it was a? <laughs> I, I won't go into the details, but uh, yeah, not a family concert. Tonight I am going to the Ed Sheeran concert that's at the Power Field. So uh, this is what I got. Uh, oh, Gen Con. We are almost finished unpacking from Gen Con. So that's a big deal. Um, we are done signing, and so hopefully I can stop talking because I'm not good at just off the cuff. You can't vamp like this. Tell about what you're just going to say. Everybody it, wants to know what you were just about to say about Gen Con right now. I, just, was, I didn't have anything. I, I didn't have anything. I was just talking. So Signed and yes. ready to go to Carrie, AJ, Camera Mandy, and Marvelous Keith. And I really, listen, y'all, if you like fiction, if you're a fiction person, this is great fiction. It is, and the reason why I love it, it is a wonderful tour really a story of a person traveling across the, the world of Zioth, or excuse me, the Republic of Zorampia, and all of the things and places that they visit. And from a lore standpoint, it is magnificent. Keith was incredibly detailed at reviewing the West Fidestia uh, lore book, incredibly detailed about checking in with me and asking questions about certain things, and just created what I consider to be a masterpiece. And I, I'm hoping we can sell a lot of these because I want to do more of them. Um, it is it is a wonderful, wonderful read. So I, I can't wait to get uh, this in some people's hands because it's getting shipped out right now, right, Camera Mendy? And, um, and you know, oh, I have a note on that. That one oh, I can an, talk about. Uh, vamp away, Camera Mendy. Uh, this is not vamping. This is very important. Uh, yeah. So we are in our, like, what, fourth interim shipment for the 2020 Kickstarter. Yes, pay by, paid for by us. Yes. Now, if you have moved. Oh, my God. If yes. you have moved and have not sent us an address update, Adventures at gooeycube.com. Please update your Camera email. Mandy, you know what we need to do? We need to just, before we ship, just oh, send I know. every one of those people an email. I, well, we're, we did, I think we are in the process of sending an email Cody's now. Because Cody's sending stuff yesterday. But I didn't, I didn't think about it until like a week into shipping. Yeah, well, <laughs> so, so some but unfortunately, people... nothing's really gone out yet because uh, it's a lot of work packaging up the boxes, yes. getting the... the, the anyway. And chapter five is so, magnificent. It is magnificent. Yes. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to cut to myself. There you go. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, no budget production. Oh, wait, okay. Hashtag... Oh, you're back. Okay, I have another I'm one. I'm getting nauseous. I have right another now. one. Okay, so <laughs> we're doing a giveaway right now. So What? What do you mean we're doing a giveaway right now? This is a different giveaway. So Chelsea was oh. one of our Great Gooey Dungeon Game Show winners, and... She asked that we re-roll her prize on the stream. So it's hashtag goo. And you don't know what the prize is yet because I kind of customize it based on the person. I have like... Um, it's a secret custom prize. Well, what happens is like Jen, for instance, Jen Wolf, um, has won in like several of our game shows. And so I keep a document and then... Jen is like Lucky Jen. That's what we call her. Her and Dennis. Dennis, <laughs> Dennis Lucky Dennis, Dennis Lucky Dennis, lot. and Lucky Jen. Yes. <laughs> so is it going through? Did I? Hopefully, I started this. Well, you did you tell? Yeah, I did. Eric's going. going. It's going. It's going. Running. Hashtag what? Goo. Hashtag oh, goo. Hashtag goo. Hashtag goo. G yeah, so, yeah. It's not G U U. If you put G U U in, it won't work. So anyway, hashtag G O O. Yes. So Jen, it was funny, and Dennis, the same thing. I started making their prize package, and I was like, oh, let me just go check that they haven't gotten this yet. I go through my documents, and I'm like, oh, they've gotten that. And so I, I do like a custom. Thing. And so Jen got a shirt because I hadn't sent her one hoo, hoo, yet. Hoo. So anyway, so yeah, hashtag, hashtag goo right now. Yes. yes. Camera Mandy, are okay. good with that? <laughs> yes. I just feel like I'm just good. talking so much this morning. You're doing great, especially uh, in that totally cool hat. The hat is very tell cool. Us, tell us one more time about the hat, how you got it, who did it, all that stuff. Cause, Brad cause, and Belinda Bennett. Of course, they, it was. So them. like Brad did I was did surprised the, they didn't give you a, a pink wig to go with it. Anyway, continue. I already have continue. a pink wig. Whatever. But yeah, Brad okay. did the leather work and Belinda oversaw and to make sure it was perfect. Yes, yeah, so the, the lore of the Hatters and continues to grow. Belinda went behind my back, got Adam's phone number at Genghis Khan, and had Adam like sneakily like measure my head, so that way it was the <laughs> Late right at size. Night, Adam is like, God, that's <laughs> a big head. <laughs> he just came up to <laughs> me with that's this a strip. Big head. <laughs> I remember it happening. He came up to me with this strip, and I was like, and just like did this thing. I was like, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. 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 Yeah, no, Adam, nothing. Is that, not, <laughs> nothing. Just 
Don't worry about it. Yeah. So that was a great <laughs> surprise. Okay, I'm about to draw. Yeah, uh, four, nine, draw four nine one phantom. Yes, that, give him a couple more moments. This Dennis. Yeah. Well, okay. If no one else is, if you haven't entered yet, get it in. But I think most people do. have. Give him a few more minutes. We'll do. We'll do fine. We're okay. doing fine. That's fine. Let's so, go ahead and do social so, media. Social media. Yes, we'll do social media. Then we will announce the winner. So if you're coming in, hashtag goo. Right. Make sure you put that in because you got a chance to to win something here that I don't know what it is yet. All right, I'll go on screen for this one. Oh, yes, you need to. Okay, so this is very important. Very important. (laughs) Our scenescapes are back up on the website. Finally. I know. We apologize for the technical (laughs) madness. I do need to make more. I've just been busy. Um, But we are getting there. You've done like a thousand of them. No, I've only done like, I still have like 40 more to do for the Kickstarter. You overpromise on this Kickstarter. No, you did because you wanted to keep giving more scenescapes. No, no. I did overpromise. That was you. But the value was ridiculous. Yes, the value was ridiculous. If you participated in our first Kickstarter, the value is ludicrous. Okay. Ludicrous. I know it took a long time and it's still taking a long time. But the value is ridiculous. I like this comment from Scottish Chef. Camera Mandy's biggest choice at the start of the day is what hat to wear. And that is actually true. I had a whole debate with Adam <laughs> this morning. But ultimately, I had to, I had to, of course. I had to rock this one. Okay, so listen. Uh, the scenescapes are not, because our whole website is different. And we're still, by the way, working on our website. It's not perfect, just by any means. We're still, we're still in a process. But with that said, under your account information, if you have access to the scenescapes they will be under the my account tab and at the very bottom over there so yes and just a reminder to everyone who got darkness in Genzicon, you don't get the digitals of the limited edition you get the digitals of the regular edition when we get that completed and ready to go we're still doing some portraits for that but if you want to get the limited edition of darkness in Genzicon, you only have a short period of time. We'll talk more about it, but it's basically about 45 days from now, 40 days from now, and then you'll never be able to get it again, just like Shadows in Genzicon. So if you if you got the chance, you know, then you got a little extra cash, oh, get me, it, because I think it's a wonderful Let me talk adventure. about Shadows in Genzicon. Really I thought we were doing social media. Uh, I, I, I just are. jumped all over the top of it. But let's, t- let's talk about what's little going on. Budget production, we don't even let's know talk about what's doing. going on with Darkness in Genzicon. <laughs> uh, okay. Is there something going on with Darkness in <laughs> Genzicon? Yes, because we have a deal going on. Oh, yes, or, that's right. The yeah, deal. So launching on Monday, um, you can get Darkness in Genzicon, um, Dungeon of Dunix. So you can buy them as a bundle and you can get the new and, So Sticky And pin. also Shadows and Genzicon, right? There's, you're doing the Shadows and Genzicon will be $10 off. But um, yes, if you buy Dungeon of Dunix and uh, Darkness and Genzicon, which is a new Genzicon together, yes. you get the So Sticky pin for free. Yes. So um, that will be up on the website Monday. And then on top of that, we are doing a $10 discount off of Shadows and Genzicon. So if you haven't already picked up Shadows and Genzicon, that this is a great time to get it because um, it's, I think it's regularly 45, 45 50, and it's 50, being it might discounted. Be 50, it might be 50 camera many because it's so big. Okay. I mean, it's big. Yeah. So it'll be, but it'll be $10 <clears throat> discounted. Uh, it's a great deal. So um, just putting that out there to you. Yes, yes, yes. Tell your friends, please. Tell tell more friends. Do you realize the Gooey Den Camera Mandy is approaching 2,200 yes. subscribers now? 2,300, something like that? I, I don't even know. And I've been playing Shadows and Genzicon, and it is it is uh, good. Oh, thank you, Camera So I, we're I told you, it. I think it's one of my it's one of my best. Okay. One of my best. Let's do social media, then we'll roll a prize, <laughs> and then we'll go on to the next thing. Because it yes, is already Chris somehow 1020. We were very chatty this morning. Chris put this in here, and I was personally attacked. It was... Hilarious. hilarious it is hilarious <laughs> like i like genuinely hi i'd like a wake up call you will never finish painting your miniatures i have seen your collection and i just fully believe that to be no, true oh yeah no you, then there was this this uh, uh dear ms goo sent me a uh, sent me an image recently with an old man standing with a younger man in front of a storage unit or a garage with the door open just packed to the rim with all kinds of crap okay it was just spilling out and he, and he says, son, someday this will be yours. So I say to young Kimmy and Michael and Devrunda, yes, you three, someday this will all be yours. I, I'm pretty positive Kimmy will happily... He's happily put it on eBay. <laughs> I think Michael will end up with the collection if I'm a guessing woman. Well, so. you never know. Lawson, I think Lawson's going to be there. Ah. Yes. Oh, was this not wonderful? Yes. yes, Todd put up a magnificent image, yes, of the borderland, right? And it was it was really a wonderful, wonderful bunch of builds. And we're having the privilege of some some wonderful builders putting up uh, materials in uh, their their builds in, in the GUI den now. And of course, Todd has a wonderful Facebook page as well that you should check out, which has changed his name, right? It's Creative Table, Creative? Creative Tabletops. Tabletops, right? Um, because it was something different before. But... Um, 
Todd also did a great video interview at. Oh yeah. Uh, this is uh, GM McLeod. How do you say McLeod? Yeah, but um, McLeod, I believe. Yes. Because they had this amazing conversation about how gooey materials really make your life easier. It was yeah. a great interview, Todd. Thank you so much. No, for... Todd, truly, you are yes. magnificent. I'm so glad our paths have crossed, my friend. I'm, yeah. We're going to do some fun things in the future. I feel it in my bones. And thank you for being on the gooey game show as well, right? Was that not magnificent, cameraman? Dude? It was magnificent. Man, I, and, and now it does look like, can you make the announcement yet about the, about the for sure? I don't think that, okay, we already kind it's of talked about it sure last yet, week, though, but it's pretty for sure, I feel. You got another email, yes? Yes, I got another email from JC yes. basically saying it's just a matter of logistics right now and planning to get us on the main stage. But now stage we got to get 500 Con. people in the damn room, Kimberly. We will figure that out. I mean, I, everybody I wins. I mean, it's a pretty cool thing, yes. you know, so. Um, all right, all right. Well, anyway, this is fantastic. Yes, and, and. This is just another picture from Gen Con, and I just wanted to tell the story. Yes. First off, Allie in the background is hilarious. She's like, don't take my picture, but <laughs> anyway. I, I, I don't know if that was what was going on because she was had no problem photobombing the whole time. I know. I think she was talking to somebody and something got messed up on the side. We can't see that person. I, I don't know. But, but she also was doing all kinds of goofball things behind the pictures. So this could have been one of her goofball things. But here, here's what I remember about these these gentlemen. I actually was corresponding uh, with uh, John. So uh, Oh, good. Yeah, we've been messaging back and forth. But uh, that's good because, like, literally, I remember that, like, I had barely given them my presentation when you just came over and plopped a bunch of stuff in front of them. It was like, you pick up this and get this and get this. And they're like, okay. <laughs> so it was, like, the easiest sale ever. And I don't know how you spot the people that you can just do that no, to. No, no. The thing, is, the yeah. thing is, you could hear what they were saying and asking, the questions they were asking, and, and their enthusiasm. And they wanted to, you know, there was just a host of things. And I, you know, again, I... I really believe, my friends, that we're making some of the finest stuff that's ever been made for the fifth edition or any edition, right? And our only issue, our only issue is not enough people know. And as long as we continue, and, and you're, especially the people who watch Good Morning Zafe, many of you are evangelists for us, and we appreciate it very, very much. But the more people we can tell and the more people we can expose to our materials, the better off we are. And... Um, and we're, you know, we're retooling things and people are giving us wonderful comments and we're getting good uh, upgrades and ideas for things to adjust and, and make better in our materials. And, um, and it's just, it's just a, a wonderful, exciting time to be, uh, to be doing GUI Cube. So anyway, it was wonderful. All the people we met at Gen Con, what a, what a wonderful group. So many people, you know, buying our stuff, Camera Medi, and being encouraged and excited, encouraging of us, right? And, and excited. Anyway, it was, it was magnificent. What's next? Okay. Um, our caption contest. Oh, yeah. Okay, we have some winners. We have some winners. Yes, okay. this was, I don't even know. This was kind of a weird thing that just kind of happened, right? Cameron? So we were on a video shoot, and this is not AI. Someone asked me if this was AI. This is not an AI <laughs> picture. This was literally just we were in an office, and I looked up, and I was like, Alphineas, take a picture really quickly. And then... I didn't know what she was even taking the picture for. She said, just make a funny face. So I yes. did, right? And that was what happened. Yes. Anyway, um, and then me being the innocent person I was, did not expect. Um, the, <laughs> the dirty, 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 dirty innuendos. innuendos. <laughs> but, you know, that's fine. Okay, so our first winner. Ms. Goo said to me, are you horny, honey? That's what she said to me. Are you horny, honey? I said, no, baby. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> I said, no, There baby. are children watching. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> there are children who watch the stream. <laughs> These are so funny. <laughs> oh, Paul, absolutely. Paul says... If I volunteer to organize a weekly GUI Cube book club for those of us with all the campaign setting books that haven't read them yet, will you give us a Discord channel? Yes, absolutely. In fact, I am going to start doing some Discord meetups again. So maybe this is the perfect chance to do that. Yes. So we are collapsing. The, I mean, we're is, in the middle of the prize. <laughs> that's okay. Just take a moment. Just take a moment. Yeah, okay. That's so fine. Paul, just so I think what we're going to do, because Belinda's really excited about this, and, and we have not been really good about the book club on Good Mornings IFA, and I'm still going to do the book club on Good Mornings IFA, but I think a couple of times a month, we're going to meet up in the Discord, or maybe even weekly. I'm going to try. The problem is I can't always be there every week. It's just with the day job and traveling and all the things that I do, it makes it very, very difficult to be committed to another weekly thing. Um, but if if we did that, um, what we could do is is do the touch on it at Good Mornings IFA and then dig deeper in in uh, in the Discord. And I think that would be wonderful uh, because the lore I the lore is not just my lore, right? The lore is not just AJ or Carrie's lore or, or anybody else's, right? It is it is 
the lore that we have crafted together. And it, and that makes it so eminently special to me. And I got a comment from someone just recently about the West Verdestia book, that it was one of the finest uh, uh, lore books they'd ever read. And they said they'd read quite a few of uh, uh, of lore of um, uh, for a fantasy world. And I am incredibly proud as well of West Verdestia. And, and of course it is, it is magnificent. We got a, a nice rating on gaming trend recently. Um, Oh, I have for, that as well. For our, yep, that was there. But anyway, so what, what, what did you have? Oh, I made, I, I made a boo-boo. Hold on. <laughs> no. I had to figure out how to undo this, guys. <laughs> oh, so God, it kept being there. undone. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so we got a nice nice, uh, nice um, uh, review and, uh, and a good, there was a couple things that, uh, that, we, that we were encouraged to do, but, but honestly, the, the structure of the Weirded World book, the, the reason why we didn't get a great was because we, they would like to have seen more uh, daily life in the world of Zayathe and sort of like that. And in my mind, because there's nine continents, uh, daily life is very different depending on where you live. And so that's going to be treated in more in our lore books. So that was uh, that was a little bit of a deficiency. We got a very nice review and it was wonderful to get the to get that review. Okay, anyway, so the winner, to... first winner is. Oh, OK, what is everyone looking at? <laughs> <laughs> From Shein. Thank yes. you, Shein. So, so part of this, I want you to know, all you dirty dirties, we didn't pick all the dirty, dirty ones. No. <laughs> but we did. We did. We, Appreciate them. <laughs> but also, Alphidius is my godfather. So, <laughs> no thank you. <laughs> no thank you. Okay. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> this was great. Chris. You want a satirical joke? Well, I always knew Alphineas had to be the centaur of attention. Sorry, I didn't mean to get your goat. Of course, he plays the goat a lot, but that comes from being an old goat. Yet he isn't ego egoat centric. Now, I disagree with that sometimes, but okay. <laughs> but a generous goat. Although, like Pan, he pipes a tune we all love to sing to. Still, does this mean Alfie worships? <laughs> what is Dionysus. it? Dio, Dio, Dionysus. Yeah. If so, then X is fun and debauchery for all. <laughs> Well no. done, Christopher. Yes. <laughs> Very punny. Very uh, punny indeed. Yes. Yes. And and just all you people who did this sort of dirty dirties, I wanted to pick a couple of them, right? But Camera Mandy kind of pushed back on me because we're a PG-13 thing. So so I, I might do an emeritus winner, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Next up. <laughs> All right, Rob yeah, sent Rob. this another amazing lore. Yes, yes, uh, like... <laughs> but he won, just to be clear, for the most advanced swelling from Concrete ever seen. So that is that is what he won for. But he did send also a beautiful uh, paragraph of Zyothic lore yes. as well. But yes. I mean, honestly, the cleverness of the most advanced swelling from Concrete ever seen. Like, yes. Especially right after Gen Con. <laughs> yes, indeed. Chef's kiss, perfect. All right, next up Charity. <laughs> Yes, I've heard charity. of tooting your own horn, but this is ridiculous. Yes, very, very good. Yes. Now, we are going to do one winner of the Dirty Dirties, which will not be announced here. So, the Dirty Dirties? The, the Dirty Dirty ones. Oh, my god. So goodness. one of the Dirty Dirties is going to win, but we won't announce it here. We'll, we'll, we'll tell you in an email because Camera Mandy didn't want me to be talking about horn. Never mind. Okay. Horn, horn, that on the show. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, next up. <laughs> yeah, Dave. A shenanigan. A wonderful shenanigan. Very, very good. <laughs> Camera Randy, we got to give up a few prizes out for the shenaniganators here again soon. I think the prize is just being mischievous. Oh, you think so? No, we got to do something. <laughs> I'll to figure encourage. something out. I'll yeah, we got to do something out. to encourage these wonderful shenanigans. Okay. Wait, go back to the shenaniganator oh real quick. Okay. So, so most of you might know that we, you know, we had this fun with Nessie when we were in Europe. So Nessie and then David Stormer took it and put Nessie in Darkenhaven. So I'll never be rid of her. Anyway, well done, David. Well done. <laughs> okay, this was a great. Uh, post from Alexander. It kind of got lost in the algorithm. Though. Oh, yeah. You know what? I didn't see it and it was late, but what a magnificent model and the pictures are beautiful and you need to, to check this out if you haven't. I bumped it because uh, it, got, it did somehow kind of got lost and I didn't get to see it. So, uh, so Alexander, wonderful, wonderful post. This is very <laughs> cute. From... Yeah. yeah. Also, I am looking for someone who can do uh, a cartoon for for me. So if anyone ha like does like little cartoons, um, I'm looking to commission this. someone from the GUI community for something. I'm worried about this. No, don't be worried about it. It's very sweet. I want to change the banner on our Good Morning or our um, GUI Den of Enlightenment so that they get like a cover image. Oh. And I want it to be a cartoon. And one is like um, someone getting like sucked into a gelatinous cube. And then when they go inside, it's all green and they're all and there's a bunch of friends and in there. And it's a party. Yeah, and it's like, oh, it's actually really nice in here. <laughs> Magnificent camera <Cumberbundy>. Yes. <laughs> so I'm looking for 
Um, I have a mosquito yes. bite, by the way. In fact, I have two of them. Wow, you're because I've been working on the on the. You, uh, on the, you went somewhere with well, that. I, yeah. No, I don't just stop you, but I just I, I was itching, so I got one on my elbow and one here. Yes. So I figured out a new method for keeping the mosquitoes away because mm -hmm. the citronella candles, uh, we have them right, and, uh -huh. I, and I, I'm outside working right and having a cigar and doing doing my group, uh -huh. guy stuff right for 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 Zayafe and and the things I'm writing. And I look over, and in the citronella candle, it's like 43 mosquitoes all like in the wax, dead, right? So I, I come to believe that they actually like it, they don't dislike it. So I bring a fan outside, right? Okay. And I put this fan on, and it hits most of me, but my right hand is kind of out of the fan juice, and I have two mosquito bites on there. Now, that was a total waste of time. Yeah, you went down the path. <laughs> all right, continue on, go back. <laughs> I, we, we are allowing a spider to live in one of our windows at our house, like now outside, not inside, yes, yes, but it's, yes. a, it's like a cat, what do they call it, cat face spider, oh, quite, quite large, yeah, and it's big. been catching mosquitoes like crazy. Yeah, it's lovely. But, and it's, it, you know, we don't have children, um, we, we live what we call a child-free existence, um, but we have found that observing the spider is a great way to spend our dinner time. You know, it's a little Charlotte Webby, you know, it's going to yes. be a little sad because it's not going to be around that long, you know. Well, we'll, we'll see what ends up happening. All okay, right. What's next? next up. Okay. Yeah, Carrie, this is I don't, good. this is the stuff that goes completely over my head, but it's very... It's just... You, you explain it to me. It's just different gooey cubes. It's the dice, yes. But it's, and then there's like, what is a caltrop? What is so a the, four, the four sided okay. dice, if yes. you have never stepped on one, and yes. I have, uh -huh. you don't understand. But if you have stepped on one, is, uh, by the way, has anybody stepped on one? Put it out there to put the truth, right? Because I have absolutely stepped in my bare foot on a four sided dice and gone, oh, oh, ooh, 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 and hopped around. Yes, it is a caltrop. That is why it's called a caltrop. Do you know what a caltrop is, Cameron Mendy? Sorry, I wasn't listening because I, I was reading the chat. Do you know what a caltrop is? Uh, a D4. No. Okay. <laughs> that's that's just things. what... Uh, Come on, Mandy, put yourself on the screen. Oh, right my here. gosh. So, 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 so caltrops <laughs> mm -hmm. are these little spiky balls mm. that would be thrown out into battle areas ah. that when people stepped on them, they could actually, they go through the shoes. And ah. so it'd be like stepping on a nail, right? That's and why it's some of that. them were strong enough to actually go through armor if it was not uh, strong enough. It was not strong enough, so or thick enough, right? Thick enough leather. So, so they throw these out. People step on them, and they'd be like, "I can't fight because my foot hurts." Ah, <laughs> Scottish Jeff said that they also stopped horses. They also did absolutely stop sad. horses. That makes me sad. Okay. Well, it was it was, uh, I, it was sometimes a... necessary. Yeah, when they I were understand. stampeding and things like that, right? It was you know down the streets of uh, you know whatever the the medieval city it was. Ooh, what an itch on my elbow. Paul says good for fouling horses as well. Yes, correct. Interesting. So anyway, so these are all the different gooey. We uh, are learning things, things on this. On yes, the show. science. It's it, science. It is already ten thirty-four. Continue on, Cameron. So, and I am not even. Continue on. I, I'm trying to figure out which I, what I haven't done yet. Mark Madden. We got to show Mark. I Madden's. didn't get Marks because I got here like right before the stream okay, listen, started. Okay, listen. Well, do, a quick, do a quick screen screen grab while it, I'm doing this. It's not a quick thing. Oh God, Camera Mendy. I'm on a Windows machine. It makes it very difficult. Mark, we will show it next week. Yes. But it's wonderful. So I apologize if I told you it was going to be this week, but clearly the low-budget production is issues fault. continue. <laughs> I went to the Sam Smith concert. I'm sorry. Sam Smith, and it was not for kids. Okay. <laughs> All right, yes. And then Zandra Oz from Magnificent Harry. Yes. Yes, Beautiful. very, very good. Very Paige. cool. I love the 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 waist. Yeah, I oh, know. Did it's an amazing job. Really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, just Harry and Magnus. And then, of course, Geeky has to rub not it in. Not a dismember. <laughs> We know who you are. Also, because he also sent it to me via yeah. Yes, Messenger. geeky, you anonymous member, you. Oh, I meant, meant to do this. Okay. Uh, yeah, but we, <laughs> low budget production. We will see if we ever have hoodies. <laughs> I want to make sure that everyone knows it's a high quality, low budget. High entertainment. Uh, but How about somebody that? said it should be spelled P-R-O-D-U-T-S-H-U-N. Low budget production. Uh -huh. right? Oh, yes. Yes. Casey made my day. Yes. Right, showed all the cool stuff. And there's a Legends Lauren Libation sitting right there. Uh-huh. Mm, what a goo good gooey collection. Okay. I think that's most of the social media. All right. So let's go ahead and draw our winner. No, no, not yet. You always want to do it too soon. No, I, it's already, it's already, I already have all the entries. All right. Are you sure? I don't, yes. wanna, I don't want somebody. But we also have to Hashtag do... goo if you didn't put it in yet. Put it in. Okay. Hashtag goo. All right, I just want to make sure people don't get, you know, people, people come late, you know. I don't want them to get the, get the, you know, not get the deal, right? So, okay. So we have right. a few more entries coming in. Ah, see? Ha-ha! So, yes. 
All of you people right, out there, I... remember who's an advocate for the people. Alphineas Goo, Cameramendi, elitist. Let's just do it right now. Cameramendi, I see you over there. Oh my goodness. In your little hat. Okay, we mm. are going to have to move to Darkenhaven. It is already 10.36. Well, no, I got to do the book club first, right? Or, or Darkenhaven? You want to do How it? long is the Darkenhaven segment going to be? I don't know, 15 minutes. Yeah, it's already 10.37. I got to do at least. All right, all right, damn it. Okay, here's what we're going to do with this damn book club. Okay? Paul, you're up. We're going to do it. We're going to set up the, the, the Discord channel. We're going to do book club. And it'll also be a little meetup at the same time. And we will, uh, we will read the, the section on Good Morning's Ayathe. Camera Mendy, we must commit to it. There must be a commitment. So we must commit to reading. Just Wait, a, we don't, okay, so. It doesn't have to take a long time because we do, we do book club on the, we do book club at the, uh, on the, on the Discord. So it doesn't I want to do both. Well, I want to do both. I do want to keep doing book club. Okay, wait, wait, this is not a discussion for in the middle of our show. Listen, whatever, Kimberly. <laughs> you're always trying to direct me. Oh, wait, you are the director. Uh, I, <laughs> not the really. Producer. <laughs> producer, I think, is more the way that we'd go with that. I hope you produce your shenanigans. Yes, okay. I think it's my shenanigans. So let's go ahead and... I think and there's lots of shenanigans, but we're going to roll our winner. Okay, so we're All right, gonna we're going to roll the winner. Okay, here we go. All right, but the this winner. is not for the map now, everyone, just to be clear. Ooh, I don't know. I don't think I've ever sent a prize to this person. A new person. Kiki Lanai. Kiki. I know Kiki. Hi, my dear. So Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually good to be. In fact, we didn't. That's another thing we need to show is the mutant mo, mutant chronicles thing. And while we're here, let's do hashtag maps. Okay. Hashtag M A P S. Correct. Yes. Hashtag maps. M A P S. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I, I take whatever submissions just because. We'll start putting them in. Yes. Because we're going to have to go through and pull them all out. So, this right? is the very last week you can get into the progressive. The extra, right. But you can yes. enter again if you go to the Discord or to the Facebook page. You got one more chance to enter there, too. Yes. Right? So, Indeed. make sure you do that. Okay. And we sent it out in the email, right? So, everybody got an email about it, right, Camera Mandy? Yep. yep. I sent it out in the email. newsletter. And I, I, got the, out. I got my email, and my email, the. the um, did, uh, did any of you all get an email from us, and did the images not show up like they normally do? Um, I having, uh, I think it might be a, I don't think it, that that's a, I think that's a program problem. No, I, I don't know. I have Outlook, okay? But normally I see all the images. So Eric thinks it might be because they were kind of, what he called, heavy, a little weighty, but I don't know. So I'd be curious if anybody, uh, if anybody got those and didn't get them, if that makes sense. If they okay. got that and didn't get it. Okay. Didn't, it, you know what I'm saying, Kim. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so how do we want to transition over to the map? So why Because I, we, I might have to get off my... Why don't we first, yes. let's do the presentation. Okay. So, my friends, before we start this, I want just everybody to know, we're going to do, this is a segment we are very much committing to as we begin to get to the place where Dark and Haven box set is going to be sent out. Why don't we talk about where we're at with that? I will. And also the Mornwood, because people are, were asking for updates on yes, it. Yes, I need to send out a Kickstarter update on the Mornwood as well. So the Mornwood, we are finished with the lore book, and now it is in editing. We have much of the artworks done for um, for uh, Blood for the Con. Blood for the Con is being written. Uh, we have uh, one of the side quest adventures is getting close to being done. The second one is in process. And uh, Edvard is working on the maps. So uh, we, I think we said August, September. I think we got a good chance to being being done in September. So... Uh, so that's our that's our goal uh, to be finished with it and send it out and not have it take uh, you know two years. <laughs> we'll do our best to not have it take two years. Promise. No, it won't. Um, and I think it's really really magnificent. I think you're going to love it. And again, another great value for those who back the Kickstarter. Um, so uh, so uh, camera, Mandy, what uh, what would we what, what now? Would we do? Dark and Haven. Oh yeah, Dark and Haven. Okay. So so I'm so I'm going to introduce the segment because camera, Mandy wants to cut them up. And actually do a, sort of a title thing, and actually make little videos of these that uh, that we can we can put up so people when they want to explore Darkenhaven can uh, explore them. Y'all, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. This is what she wants to do. Mandy wants. To... <laughs> so wait, what do you want? No, this is what she wants to do. Oh. Wait, camera, Mandy, you have to go with the flow. Uh -huh. Do you not understand? You have to. Just I just need of... people to understand the chaos that is my life. Chaos is all of our lives. So yes, chaos is. You, have you ever seen Chaos Theory, Camera Mandy? Go ahead and, and put back yourself back on the screen, if you please. Yes. Have you ever seen Chaos Theory? Do you know what Chaos Theory even is? I've heard of Chaos Theory. Famed in Jurassic Park mm -hmm. three or four or one of them damn Jurassic Parks, yes? Mm -hmm. Chaos theory, yes. It's worth taking a little look at one of these days if you have a moment. Hmm. 
you know, camera many, I'm looking at myself here. Oh my and do you remember, do you remember the first, uh, the first uh, Gen Con we went to, I dyed my hair gray. Are we going yes. down this path there on hair. Dark and Haven? No, no, I dyed my hair gray because I wanted it to be gray. And now, damn it. <laughs> you are very it's gray. gray. <laughs> okay, focus on Dark and Haven. Focus, focus. All right, ready? We're going to introduce it. Ready? Okay. My on. friends, ready? Yes. Hello, my friends. It is I, Alphineas Goo, with the first installment of the Dark and Haven lore. Yes, we will be discovering Dark and Haven here as part of these wonderful little segments about the most amazing city in the world of Zyothe. Perhaps there are others that are amazing too, but we have yet to see them. But this one we have seen. So Dark and Haven is the capital city of the Republic of Zoranthia, as many of you may know. It is a magnificent metropolis with a with a fabulous population of all kinds of interesting, intriguing, nefarious, wonderful, amazing, and scary individuals. A perfect place for adventure, which is what we do, which is what we love, adventure, yes? All right, let us continue on, Camera Mendy, with the beginnings. So Dark and Haven, we will talk a little bit about it, is a, a most interesting place, right? Because it, it is resides in this, in this, this Republic of Zoranthia. But it is, the, it is the, the, the structure of it that makes it more interesting than most. Because it is situated on the edge of the Mistroon River, right? Which cascades down in Twinning Falls, which fall on either side of the Maw, which leads into the massive underground portage, which is called the Gloomport. And these together form the city of Darkenhaven, which is a magnificent place with perhaps 200,000 or more abiding therein though it swells greatly in the more uh, fairer months of the annum, uh, more fa fairer months of the annum, right? So during the Question, summer and spring. am I, when you like mess up like that, is this like one of those things where I'm going to be editing? I, I don't think you need to. Do you oh. think you need to? Now oh, this, just, of course, you just screwed it up completely. I, right? Absolutely, I did on, intentionally. Right. Okay, so go ahead, repeat that sentence again. The atoms I, of the something uh, or another. No, just leave it in just like it is. It's fine. <laughs> in fact, just leave this in just like it is, too. People will love it. All right, continue on. Okay. Yes. Let's see here. So what I want to talk about before we sort of delve into Darkenhaven is, is the building of a magnificent locality, right? And the, and the crafting of it and, and, and what it means to you as a game master in terms of sort of how you run it. And what we have tried to do within the Darkenhaven materials is to give you lots and lots of room to move within the magnificent sandbox that is this great city, right? And in truth, it is a sandbox. So as I go through this process with you and we talk about Dock and Haven, we're not just going to discuss uh, sort of the city itself and talk about lore. We're also gonna talk about GMing tips and, and how do you run a city and how do you make it more effective and how do you populate it, right? When I mean, literally, what do you do? You got 200, 250,000 people that are living there, right? And the players are walking all over the place if you're running it the way I would encourage you to run it. And they're meeting all these different people. What do you do, so, right? So, so first of all, in the crafting of a, a magnificent city, part of our job is to help you with that, right? That's our goal. So when you see the Dark and Haven box set, when you open it up, you will find that there are maps, right? And lots of encounters and, and, and things that you will experience, that players can experience as they go through the city. There are also portraits of many, many characters that they can encounter. And we would encourage you to use those characters as much as possible. Now, one thing you're not going to find is a lot of stats, a lot of uh, monster blocks and those kinds of things. To be sure, there are creatures, there are monsters, there are all of these things. However, this is the problem with a locality like this. You really have no idea what level the party is going to be at when they visit here. And indeed, they will visit here again, potentially, and again at different levels through the course of their adventuring career. So, so really, what you have to look at is the sandbox of Darkenhaven. You have to kind of level balance that one a little bit yourself as you go through the process, right? Because you know, a, a second level party cruising down the street, encountering an escaped gooey cube from the uh, alchemist right down below, uh, you know, in this hidden laboratory is, is a little bit of a different thing than the, a 10th level party encountering the same gooey cube. However, of course, you know, we have different gooey cubes, so there could be a really much more powerful one that they could encounter. But if you're going to make it challenging for people, that's part of the idea, right? So uh, let's go to the next one. 
So telling tales in an urban locality. So as, as this progresses, what you're gonna find with this is this is a wonderful opportunity to practice your sandbox skills, right? Because it is sandboxy, right? It is a limited, what we call a limited sandbox because there are, obviously they can leave at any time they want, but typically if they're exploring or walking around the city or experiencing the city, they typically don't wanna just walk away right away. They typically wanna walk around and see it. So part of breathing life into a wonderful locality like Darken Haven, am I doing well, Camera Medi? Are you enjoying this? I'm enjoying it. Wonderful, yes. I hope the chat is. Part of, uh, I hope it is, and you just, you know, and, and honestly, my friends, I always want a good feedback. So if I ever get boring, uh, you know, or not, not uh, quite as uh, interesting as you would like, you need to tell me so we can make it more interesting. It's more effective when you do it than when I do it. <laughs> Well, listen, let's just jump about telling tales. So, so this, is, this is a little bit of GM tips, and I'm going to touch on this much more as we go forward. But I want to kind of have you understand that first and foremost, you're going to have to level variable the city. It's going to have to be level balanced as you're, depending on what happens and when your party goes there. It's not really something that we can do in advance for you. And so uh, this, is, this is a little bit of prep work that you're just going to have to do. We have a question from the chat. Yes, absolutely. Speak uh, it first out. off, everyone's loving the graphics. Wonderful. And Scottish Chef wants to know who the artist is. So there, these are a variety of our artists. Uh, they, you know, they're all in our, uh, in our lore books at the beginning. I could list them all. I believe this one was done by Ferdinand. Uh, it's a long time ago. It's a wonderful artwork. And what I love about it is right in the center of the image is this magnificent Gorund, right? Who is just towering over everyone else. And, you know, we, we have done our best to try to bring the Zyothic feel to all of our all of our imagery and uh, and I just I just really love the street scene I love the feel of it right and this is this is the immersion that we're trying for when people are walking around the streets right and that's why we do so much art is to be able to provide it to people so that when they're looking at it they can go wow that's really cool and they they can kind of feel like they're there right so so that is the idea behind it anyway so so like I said, this is a, uh, was there another question or was No, that, that, was, a, that was the other question. Okay. So if, if anyone else had questions I missed, I'm not fully watching the chat. So please she's a camera Mandy, in. you know, she's got other things going on. You know, she's texting Adam or whatever. I am you know. not. Hello, Adam. I love you. Oh my goodness. Adam's in the chat. <laughs> Hi, Adam. <laughs> if Adam. If Adam wants to say something to me, he just types it in the chat. <laughs> so, so anyway, no, stay back. Stay back. Oh, I'm sorry. You stay back. We'll really do this in a moment. Just got so, so when you're going to tell these tales in an urban locality, the first GM tip that I'm going to tell you is in your preparations, don't place for the most part. Now, some things are going to be placed because obviously a building that is part of the, the story and lore of the city has to have a place, right? But that doesn't mean that lesser buildings that are perhaps not numbered, and when we show the map here in a minute, you're gonna understand what I'm talking about. That doesn't mean that lesser buildings need to always be placed. If they're not, if they're not numbered by us and put into the lore, the, the actual lore of the city, that means all of these buildings are yours, free for you to add to, adjust, and do whatever you want. And so you don't place ahead of time. This is really, really important concept in sandboxing, right? Because what? Because I do believe it is, is better to prepare things ahead of time and then place them where the party goes, all right? So for example, I know that I have seven really cool encounters. Three of them are going, uh, are going to take them uh, in different directions on different threads that I want them to at least try to explore. And depending on which they do, I typically have all of my threads sort of come back together, right? So, so I, I do a lot of, of what I would call mixing, right? So, so, um, so let's say as an example, they're going to encounter a rabid dog on, uh, on the street, okay? Now the rabid dog, uh, it, it comes running up and they of course dispatch it, right? Should not be too much of a problem. No, someone gets bit, there is a problem potentially, right? Um, and, uh, and I might have at that time, perhaps the dog's collar having a tag. And that's a thread that leads to a location that I have a little bit prepped for, right? Who is the owner of the dog? And that owner of the dog could be having difficulties, for example, with a neighbor. And the neighbor could be someone that I want them to encounter who's a minor person who is involved in some kind of a nefarious plot. Now, by the same token, Let's do another thing. They could be walking down the street and they could encounter uh, sort of down an alley, a beaten up beggar. And the beaten up beggar 
is laying there on the ground moaning and needing help, and many parties would pass by, but many other parties would actually help. I think more parties would help than would walk by. Because generally, us nerds are good people, even when we're playing evil characters. It's kind of weird, but that's an aside. Anyway, so I would have them meet the beggar, and the beggar is going to say, well, over there on XYZ Street is where I got beat up, and I ran to here, and I'm so hurting, right? And I fell over, and guess who XYZ Street is? That's the neighbor, right? You see this, right? And so this is how you begin to direct the party with the illusion of choice. And they don't really know that this is going on. Now, if you have a party that follows breadcrumbs really easily, then you're then you are in great shape, and they don't have to do, be so so quite as uh, uh, put so much effort into it. Um, I have a good party that likes to follow breadcrumbs because they want to know the tale and they want to help tell the tale. But some people have parties that just want to run all over the place and do chaos. I do encourage you to encourage them to adjust that a little bit to make it a little easier on you as a game master, because too much chaos can be really chaotic. Does that make sense, Cameramendi? Anyway, yeah. so is this a good GM tip? Does everyone like this? Is this uh, something that is valuable to you? Or, I know some of you know this already, but I think it's a valuable thing for many people who are trying to be better at game mastery. And, and this, is, this, is, this is a really wonderful thing to do. So when you're breathing life into the locality, they're walking down the street, you're gonna have lots of encounters. Bring your encounters ahead of time, have them planned, kind of know what they are. You can have some random ones if you want, but that's why we do not so random encounters because all of them are leading to the, to the end game. All of them, unless they're just one that just is sort of a happenstance. So if you weave them together and do this, you see how you can craft a sandbox that really feels very sandboxy to your players, but also puts you in a position where you really don't have to just go crazy all over the place preparing all kinds of things. I also have a few buildings prepared ahead of time. I always, uh, now many of them you'll have much options with. You'll have quite a number of taverns and shops and things like that in the Dark and Haven box set that will already be prepared for you with the person who works there and all of that stuff. Now, obviously we can't put in all the portraits of every person they're ever going to meet. So I encourage you to make a stable of your own portraits, which you can do very, very legally, right? Personal, personal use. Uh, is, is pretty open uh, on the internet. And you can grab lots of artworks and just have them in your hip pocket to do portraits of people that they encounter. And I would name them ahead of time, right? But that's about as far as I would go because depending on what happens, sort of dictates what happens with that character. All right, so this is telling tales in an urban locality. I'm going to go into much more detail on this as we continue, but I hope this is helpful. And breathing, then this goes along with breathing life into the metropolis. So what I'm talking about here are things beyond just an encounter. These are sights and smells and sounds. These are the crier who is running around with the Dark and Haven news, for example, or the adventurer's news, for example, right? And if you've gotten one ahead of time, so I sometimes have copies of the adventurer's news at my table, uh, which I have prepared ahead of time, which has some lore and interesting tidbits in there, which I take out of materials that I've gotten from before. And, and, in, that, and in that little newspaper is also things that pertain to the adventuring party, one way or another, adventure hooks, things like that. And guess what? There's probably at least a couple of references to the damn neighbor, right? <laughs> that we talked about earlier, right? So, so this is how you kind of bring it together, right? But the fishmonger, right, who's trying to sell fish and then has a rumor, right? The, uh, the, the wandering, the wandering uh, minstrel who sings a tale, right? Who is suddenly enamored with the party for some reason. The pickpocket, right? All of these things make it, make it more of a, of a wonderful experience as they're traveling through. And so as you're, as, you're, as you're thinking about your city and you're thinking about the travel about the city, because travel in the city is one of the greatest things of the city is actually the traveling through it, as long as you have crafted it ahead of time. So they smell things, they hear things. Somebody dunks a, dumps a, a, a pot of, you know what, out the window, you know, whatever, right? These things add so much to the tale and you need to be able to um, uh, ex express these things, put them forth and, and, and as, they're, as, they're going, as they're going around. So a few, uh, a few tidbits of little notes to help you remember certain happenings that could happen that are really tale focused. Not, uh, not. Uh, I'm gonna in insert a note here from a player, though. Yes, please. Do. I am a player. Yes. Um, and 
it is important that you don't overwhelm your players with how much information there is. So you want a balance. You want to give them, if they're starting to get lazy eyed, <laughs> let me just put it that way, focus in on the things that they absolutely need to know and, and kind of play to them because there might be so much information. This is a fair comment. Yes. So this is why I'm telling you that why I do what I do, which is I typically have three or four major threads going on, right? And those, that's why they're weaving together. So you see what I'm saying? The rabid dog, the beggar, right? The, uh, the, the horse and cart that's, that's loose running down the street. These all lead in the same direction. And this is how you stop what Cameron Mandy just talked about, which is overwhelming players with way too much things that are going on. But I do want to talk about Cameron Mandy. I'm not speaking about, I'm speaking about here, you know, breathing life right into the grand metropolis. I'm speaking here more about the, the experience of traveling about, not necessarily things that matter in terms of the tale itself. It's more breathing life into the tale. And, there, and, and so the clip clopping of the horse as it comes down the street, the, the, the scream of the, of the lady as, as, as she uh, is, is taken, uh, taken advantage of by one of the vendors, right? And she's oh. mad. Not that way, Cameron. Uh, okay, no, I was like, this is so very dark. You're so dirty-minded. I am not dirty-minded. Yes, no, just... no. yes, this is why the horny people couldn't get any of that. Oh, my things. goodness. Okay, Listen, I have I a question. Tell you, I have what a I'm question talking about is someone, a vendor taking advantage of her when she was trying to purchase something, and she's mad, She right? screams. Yes, she's like, they... what are you doing? Yes, right? I that got to. I, I, yes, okay. I have a question from the... Chat. So dirty, Cameron Mandy. Oh, wait, I have to look up like this. So dirty. I, I, if I, it was me, I would slap him right across the <laughs> face. Okay, no. <laughs> um, how many building maps will be in the Dark and Haven box? So there, there will be, um, I believe, 20 or 25 localities. It's something like that, maybe 30. I can't remember. Do you remember off the top of your head, Cameron Mandy, the floor no. plans? Oh, there's something like 40. It may be 40. Yeah, it might. It's a lot. There, yeah. It's a lot. There are less in the Gloomport. We got to work on some more in the Gloomport. But there are uh, there are a lot of, of floor plans um, that you can use. And these are mostly for pre, uh, pre-prepped pre places. So um, so they're, they're pretty cool. Now, there are some that, that you know, like the Nenny Umbulary, which we'll talk about later as well as we kind of do our tour. By the way, I want to have Carrie on. I want to have AJ on, Camera Mendy, and I want to bring Jens back. Because I think this is, I think people are going to love, uh, love this this segment as we as we, we are to at forward. 10:59. Perfect, we're rolling. Okay. All right. So so anyway, I, I think you get this idea of breathing life into a metropolis through the sights and the sounds and the smells and the noise, all of these things, right? This this makes it better. Let's go to the next one. So we will begin next week speaking about the Republic of Zoranthia, and we won't do a lot because that is not really the focus of this. Um, of this segment, if you will. But the, the, the Republic of Zoranthia needs to be spoken of some because Darken Haven is the capital city. So we are going to talk about that a little bit. And of course, the darkest dream you know, in the Red Star Rising campaign take place in the Republic. If, if everything works out in chapter six or chapter seven, the party is actually going to visit Darken Haven, which we're pretty excited about doing. So there's a lot going on that, that uh, why the Republic is kind of important. So, um, so next week, we will talk a little bit about the Republic of Zoranthia, and then we will go forward beyond there and start speaking about, uh, about more about the city, and we'll weave in these GM tips. Okay, Cameron Mendy, that is it for this segment. Thank you for joining us for the Dark and Haven segment itself. Yes, indeed. Now, let me ask the chat. Was that good? Seriously now, don't just be nice. Tell the truth. Enjoyable, interesting, worthwhile, all of that stuff? Um, Patrick says, make sure he addresses the municipal government concerns, please. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out how to put some of this damn stuff you do in Patrick into lore, but I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. It's, it's Patrick's lore. It's in his world. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, everyone loved it, except Good. for Harry. He said it was a low-budget production. <laughs> Thanks, Harry. As always. Appreciate you. As always. <laughs> look, we like to set our expectations of, of what the show is. So. Um, so, so seriously, Paul, let us talk about this. Belinda, if you're watching, um, uh, I know you want you love the book club, too. You and I are uh, lore fanatics, you know, and I really appreciate it. There's a few others as well. I think Kevin, Kevin might want to join. 
Um, you know, Jens is a lore fanatic. So, so, and, and there's quite a few people I think would love this. We just have to do it and we have to be consistent with it. And I want to do something on the Discord anyway, and this would be a wonderful thing to do. We can do a quick little meetup ahead of time and then do, do a book club, which I think, uh, I think it can, can kill two birds with one stone as it were. But some, sometimes some people are going to have to uh, take over for this. Also, we, we have will... some good feedback from the chat. Yeah, please. And I would ask that you just message that directly to Alphineas, his Facebook. What? So, yeah, that way you can see it and read it. Oh, okay, good. So yeah, just message Alphineas on Facebook with your feedback. And we love constructive criticism Absolutely. here. Absolutely, always. Yes, but that way he can incorporate it into the show Always, next week. So, always, always. A bit more structure. I think that's all great. Um, wait, something I didn't see. Uh, if I didn't see something, please re-highlight it in the chat. And yes. All right, my friends, this is it for us. We appreciate you so much for joining us. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us on Saturday mornings for our low-budget production. We've got a lot to do. And, uh, and the map giveaway is next week. Yes, Camera Mandy? Yes. yes. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes, indeed. We appreciate you all. Much love to each and every one of you. And may all your adventures be sticky. Ha-ha!